Hey guys, it's Del, and we're back with Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. Today is the last episode. So we're going to be taking on the Tower of Fate. Prime your potions. Now before you move on, go back here. There are three cypher coins. And then you move forward. I don't really need this book. I just bomb burst my way over there. Okay, so I see another cipher coin back over here. And these platforms fall once you land on them, so make sure you don't stay on there too long. Make sure you jump out in time. So we got the other cipher coins that we needed. There's a cipher coin over there and right down there. But I don't want to fall in. Honestly, I just want to bypass this guy. I'm not going to deal with him. Okay, so there are two cypher coins right there. And over here there is turkey. If you want it. If you need it. Okay. So I think there's a checkpoint. Yes, there is. Just going to slice the checkpoint with my Staff of Striking. And I completely neglect that piece of gold in the checkpoint. I don't know why I did that, to be honest. Uh, I, I'm not going to fret too much. I got pretty much everything, so... It's no biggie. But anyway, there's a cypher coin underneath that platform. Make sure you get it. Make sure you're careful, because it's over a bombless pit. I'm going to get rid of this guy, and then get the next cypher coin. We're getting close to the music sheet that we need. I'll just go ahead and switch back to Spin Burst. Yeah, there's a Cypher Coin, and behind the wall, there's the music sheet. And there's another checkpoint. We'll go ahead and destroy that. And we'll go ahead and get that cypher coin right underneath us. I want to get rid of that guy first. Those guys can be really annoying. I see another cypher coin over there. And we gotta deal with these guys, but... I'm, I'll be honest here, I'm, I was trying to kill them with style, like doing the spin burst. <sighs> That's why I did a little bit rough, but... Oh, there's another guy in the ceiling. Let's see, I'm, I'm gonna try to... There we go. I like to get them off the ceiling so it would be easier for me to kill them first. Watch out for these guys, they got bow and arrows. I'm going to go ahead and get the turkey. And, oh, you can actually destroy that wall, but I'll be honest, I kind of don't want to risk it. Though I could have used the smoke bomb, but... Eh. Uh, decided not to. <laughs> so... Okay, there's the next checkpoint. I'm going to go ahead and destroy that. Over here, there's a... Oh gosh, it's a bomb. What's over here? Another bomb! Why? Not that I really need any food right now, because I have full health. But, okay, there's a cipher coin. Everything is appearing black. There's another cipher coin right there. And, use the bait bomb to get that music sheet.
We're almost there. Let's see whatever's in here. The turkey and the health tonic. There's cypher coins, I see. Oh gosh, not that guy. Alright, there we go. Okay, if you've seen rain splattering on the platforms, that's a solid platform. If you don't, then you'll fall through it. And then, there's the last checkpoint, and here we go with Black Knight. Black Knight? Must I suffer you again? As long as you pursue the Enchantress, I will pursue you. Great! <laughs> I can use the entertainment. Just one thing. Why were you talking to Mona? She was trying to bribe me to give you the Enchantress's ascent without a fight. Mona was looking out for me? Being incorruptible, of course, I would hear no such talk. Mona did all that to protect me? I must have the potion out of my way! Alright, so here we go. We get to fight Black Knight again. For the last time. So we got out of his wings. I'm gonna try to staff strike him. But it's probably easier if he was still like that. But I got hit by these meteors. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. We beat him. Clearly you care for her, but why go to such lengths? Why a potion that makes you all powerful? I'm not out to rule the world. I just want to become stronger and maybe then she'll love me. Fool, can't you see that she already does? No, the potion is the only way! And now we're going inside the Tower of Fate. Let's get volatile. Alright, let's go. So, um... The last of the Cypher Coins are in this stage. There are mo no more Cypher Coins after this stage. Just get rid of that eel. And just... Walk off before you hit the spikes. Otherwise you'll die. There's a Cypher Coin up there. And there's another Cypher Coin. And there's a lot of spikes over there. So you want to be careful not to jump too high. And I'm just going to wait till that goes all the way to the end of the room. Or just a little bit. And then there's a checkpoint. I'm just going to destroy that real quick. I got to get rid of these guys. Let's get the Cypher Coin. And the other one, which is right over there. Let's try getting rid of these guys, too. They're going to give me some trouble. And there's another one. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these mice, just to be safe, when I get that Cypher Coin. Because I'll be honest, I've died to this place a lot, just because of those mice. That's when I first played it, though. But, I just want to be extra careful, that's all. So now for the next room, we're going to be using the Big Boom to get rid of these guys, because I hate this room as Plague Knight. But with the Big Boom, it makes everything a lot easier here, for me. Yeah, I used to really hate this room. Actually, I still kind of do, but not as much. With the big boom, it's all good. I'm actually going to start equipping stuff like the lob case and the float burst. I'm going to be needing those for the next room. There's a checkpoint, which I'm going to go ahead and destroy. Could have used my Staff of Striking, but I just want to be ready for this room. I still want to have my big boom equipped. And get rid of these guys from far away. And the Lob Casein as well. But I... Hmm. Maybe the big boom is all I need, but... I'll just use the Lob Casein as well, just in case. These are the guys that I've saved the big boom for. But in this section, I'm going to switch to the vat. Um, and I think I'll just use the bounce case now. I'll actually go back to the big boom because there's another guy right here. And then I'll go back to the vat. Just in case.
and I'm gonna go behind this wall and get a music sheet. And then there's a checkpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that. There are two cipher coins right there. Then the next room above us is auto scrolling, much like Tinker Knight stage. So it keeps going up. So you gotta pick up the pace. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the spin burst now. Oh, but I gotta get that cipher coin. Oh boy. And that one, too. And there's another cypher coin over there. And there's a music sheet way back over there. I gotta hurry up. I'll go ahead and use the fleet flask. I'm gonna need that. And I got the music sheet. And there's another cypher coin right behind that wall. So, as you can see, you really gotta keep up. You gotta go fast. Like Sonic. <laughs> Alright, so... Anyway, we're almost done collecting all the Cypher Coins. And we have made it to the top. I'm going to go ahead and eat that turkey behind the wall. And those are the last two cypher coins. Turkey, turkey, turkey with health tonic. And there is a checkpoint which we are going to destroy. And here comes the boss rush. Oh, look who's shown up to our little soiree. You're late on your membership dues, Alchemist. And now the time has come for you to- Shovel Knight! You led him here too? What madness is this? We'll deal with him soon, but first I want to know why Plague Knight is showing his mask around here. Yes, yes! You've stolen all my essence, you maniac! All I have less is my wits! Unlike Wits King Knight, you actually have some essence. It's merely weakened. We were strong as a team, but you just care for you. For shame. Makes right! Isn't that the Order's motto? I just took some initiative! We'll never stand for this. You're gonna pay for what you've done, Plague Knight. Hmph! <laughs> Pust Assault! Well, it's time for the boss rush, starting with King Knight. Up next we have Polar Knight! And after every fight you're rewarded with some turkey. And now for Spectre Knights. Next we have Treasure Knight.
And now we have Tinker Knight himself. And now to fight him again with his machine. Next we have Propeller Knight. And now for Mole Knight. And last, we have Shovel Knight. And just like last time, when you beat Shovel Knight, he'll gain one more health and then beat you. Because that's just the main story. Shovel Knight's supposed to win. Give us a hand, Shovel Knight! You wouldn't leave us to hang here, would you? And he leaves? In my Shovel of Hope playthrough, I was a lot more generous than this Shovel Knight. <laughs> now that's what I call a party! Enjoy the cleanup! And everyone's just hanging. Alright, now to go back to the Potionarium. To turn in all the Cypher Coins. Great geldings, is that all the cypher coins? Give me those! Let's throw caution to the wind and do some science! And we're rewarded with a pandemonium chalice. Well, it's finished, but it seems useless. Pity since you collected all those coins. Anyway, here you go! Alright, let's go ahead and turn in those music sheets that we've collected. And then we're going to the Truffle Pond. Does Oolong know any new songs? He sure does. What is it? The song that plays when you're fighting Shovel Knight as Plague Knight. So once you have the Pandemonium Chalice, go to the Truffle Pond. Mortal, a pandemonium chalice? Impossible! I thought they'd all been destroyed long ago! 
allow me to gaze into its swirling vortex and hold still for a moment as I grant a new power. So that is the Pandemonium Cloak. So basically, it randomizes your bombs and your weapon. In fact, let's go to the alchemy menu and show you that it's all randomized. See? So, yeah. I'm just going to switch back to my original suit. And we'll change everything back. And then uh, we'll go ahead and finish off the game. Ready? You bet your ass I am. Alright, let's get going. First, you got these blocks coming at you. And you're over a pool of lava. And we're done with this part. Now before we move on, we're gonna go to the left. So as you can see, there are blocks that only come up when you're near them, so... It's pretty hazardous around here. And right back over here, there are five music sheets. And there's pink gold, and there's a turkey if you need it. And now... To proceed forward. I'm gonna go ahead and use the float burst just to be safe. I'll just drink the Fleet Flask, just to speed things up. I'm not actually running on the blocks, I'm just running in the air, as you can see. And you can't destroy that checkpoint, so I'll just keep moving. Plague Knight, ah, so your fool's errand draws to a close. Hehe, <laughs> you know what I'm after, the Enchantress, and how important it is? Do not speak to me of importance. Your quest is fully. You'll never be anything more than you are. So you've come to rob me of my ascents? To shape the world of whim? Ascents is insignificant to me, but you know, my servant must be reminded of your place. My place is by Mona's side, and you won't stop me! If you insist on dancing with death, then I shall take the lead. So we gotta fight the Enchantress. I'm gonna try slashing her with the Staff of Striking. And she's gonna destroy these blocks, and your bombs destroy those blocks too. And sometimes the Enchantress will bring back blocks. And every time she swoops up and down, she's gonna move from the top to the bottom. And vice versa. And now she's coming back up. She sure is making a lot of gaps. That's why I like to wait till she makes more platforms. And then move to the area that needs blocks. I'm almost done with her, but I can't really seem to land a hit on her. And now she's changing directions. Maybe I should have thought of a better strategy, but, oh well. We're almost done with her, so we'll just finish off what we have, and it'll all be over. For her. 
We still got more after this, but... And that is the end of the Enchantress. Killing you would be a waste of my energy and of a powerful alchemist. I'll make use of you yet, Plague Knight. Take what you will, make your potion, but what you truly desire will always elude you. No! Stop your assault, Plague Knight! Look, I've brought someone! Plague Knight, come to your senses. You don't need to go through with this. Mona, you don't understand. I was too weak to say it before, but now I can show you I'm good enough. Black Knight told me everything. You don't need a potion to win me over. You already have. What? But it's too late! I already defeated the Enchantress and began the final distillation! I was too late. I must go after her. You two touch nothing until I return. Where is all this power coming from? It wasn't in our notes! The Ascents are reacting. Unpredictably. Watch out! Uh-oh. We have spawned a Shadow Plague Knight. So it's pretty much like the Zelda 2 final boss. Only it's not so fucking relentless. That, and this isn't even the final boss. There's one more boss after this. So yeah, you gotta beat another Plague Knight. He pretty much does the same stuff from... The Shovel of Hope Plague Knight. Hell, the shape of his sprite is the same, it's just black. We're almost done with him, just one more hit. There we go. We have defeated another Plague Knight. But, it's turning into something else. It's the final boss. So what you do in this boss is, when the beak opens, you go in there and attack it. Attack its tongue. And then, okay, you gotta open this up, and then it'll open its beak. Not too difficult at all. We're almost done. With the Staff of Striking, it's a breeze. And that is it! We have defeated the final boss. And we beat Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. You did it! The reaction has stabilized. Wow, there it is. The ultimate potion. Well, are you gonna drink it now? I... I don't think I need it anymore, Mona. But we must take it with us. It's all we've been working for. My future as an alchemist is riding on it. Wait, I just got an idea. You know how much energy is contained in this potion, right? Yeah! This much boom could easily level the whole tower! And be seen for miles in all directions. Mona, I love the way you think. Ha! The bigger the explosion! The better the alchemist. Those bumbling townsfolk would throw us in a parade. We could practice alchemy anywhere we want. You wouldn't have to hide anywhere anymore! But you're holding a potion that can give you anything you could ever want. Are you sure about this? I already have everything I could ever want. Let's blow this joint!
You're back? You're alive! Wonderful! I'm going to assume that the explosion was your handiwork. Yep, that crusty old tower was an eyesore anyway. Amazing! I didn't get any rocks thrown at me today. I think the townspeople are actually grateful! Listen, Plague Knight. I know you made all these potions and blew everything up, all to impress me. I'm so flattered, really, I am. I have to make a confession, though. You're not my type. I'm so sorry. You see, I'm falling in love with a real man! Guys, guys, the villagers are all in the juice bar, and they want to buy us around. Let's go! Ha! Huh, that sounds lovely, but I think we'll catch up later. There's science to be done, Mona. Let's get started, Plague Knight. There's no telling what we'll brew up next.
All right, so that was Shuffle Knight Plague of Shadows. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn in those music sheets and we'll be done. Final boss. The song that plays after you destroy the Tower of Fate. And the song that plays when Mona and Plague Knight dance at the end. And that was Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. That was a fun run. So, we'll see you guys in Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment.